Mostar in Bosnia-Herzegovina is a beautiful city to the south which had once been ravaged by war. Blagaj in Mostar has had a long history. Blagaj has been dwelled since the Neolithic period, 7,000 years before Christ. For countless years, human settlements have been built on the banks of the Bona River. Today, the same river divides Blagaj city. It has witnessed people developing civilizations as well as destroying them. The Roman and the Illyrian powers had once appeared and then disappeared, leaving just stories and traces behind. The Catholic Christians arrived with the Roman army, followed by the influence of Islam, which still dominates the region of Bosnia until today. Bosnia was one of the regions under the power of the Turkish Ottoman Empire during the mid-15th century AD. The uh, last Bosnian queen, Katarina, was born in this castle in the early 15th century, just a few years before the fall of the Bosnia to the Ottoman Empire. Uh, she was, uh, at the birth, she was Bogomil, but uh, at the marriage, when she married, uh, she became a Catholic because uh, her husband was a Catholic. Uh, that's why uh, when the Ottomans uh, invaded the Bosnia, she fled to Rome. Uh, uh, she is now uh, she lies buried in, in one church in Rome, and uh, on her uh, gravestone it says in old Bosnian language, "Here lies Katarina, the last queen of the Bosnians." This hill was named after Queen Katarina, who ran away to Rome. It is said that the Bomegal Society during this time held fast to the true teachings of Prophet Isa, peace be upon him. Bogomils, let's say 99% uh, convert to uh, Islam because uh, simply they uh, uh, followed the things that were written in the Bible, that there will be another prophet uh, after Isa, uh, that he'll name, his name will be Adam, that he will be marked on uh, his uh, uh, right side of the, of the back. Uh, that's uh, the, the main reason why within, uh, let's say, less than 50 years of coming of Ottomans to this area, uh, uh, most of the Bogomils convert to, uh, to Islam. The Bogomils did not have a special place of worship. They believed that prayers can be done anywhere. The belief of the Bogomil community on Prophet Isa's teachings was the main factor that made it easy for them to embrace Islam under the rule of Sultan Muhammad al-Fatih. Poshitel in the region of Rabrani. This city is said to be one of the most beautiful cities in Bosnia. In the last war, it also was not spared from being attacked. The war experience still haunts some of the citizens. However, its beautiful mountains terrain with natural sceneries makes it the best tourism spot. From this high ground, settlements along the Nerteva River and southern Mostarn can be seen. Kamil Dizdar witnessed with his own eyes the Neretva River sweeping 40,000 bodies of war casualties during the Second World War. During the Bosnian War, this city was conquered. The Poshitel Muslims, who were surrounded, were brought to detention camps. As a senior citizen of Poshitel, who had experienced the suffering resulting from two wars, there is nothing hated more by him than enmity between two sides. According to him, today's generation must realize the fact that armed conflict will only bring suffering. Yeah. 
دست 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 The Haji Ali Mosque was built in 1562 during the Ottoman period. It is one of the most historical monuments in Pochettel. Like other historical monuments in this town, it was destroyed during the bombings and attacks on August 1993. The attacks seem to indicate that all traces of the existence of the Ottoman Empire wanted to be utterly destroyed by the enemy. Today, the Haji Ali Mosque is undergoing restoration process under the supervision of the Bosnian Historical Organization. Among the monuments still standing in Pochetel from the Ottoman era, is this fortress which was built by the orders of Sultan Suleiman the Great. It is said that the fortress, which is over 500 years old, was a gift from Sultan Suleiman to the people of Pochetel, who were loyal to the Ottoman Empire. Since its establishment, the Pochetel fortress, located about 100 meters above sea level, tried to be wrestled from the Muslims several times, but to no avail. It was unassailable until finally it was successfully bombarded in 1993 by the Serbs. Five hundred years ago, this fortress had seen the harmony between the Christians and the Muslims who lived side by side. However, the situation, like a sweet dream, disappears into the folds of Pochitel history. Dubrovnik is a seaport city in Croatia, near the Adriatic Sea. Situated in a region with a Mediterranean climate, Dubrovnik has its own history. It was once ruled by the Roman Empire in the 7th century. During this time, it was a busy seaport city. During the 14th century, Dubrovnik was utterly destroyed by a great earthquake. Due to the earthquake, several parts of Dubrovnik became submerged. However, the function of Dubrovnik as a seaport continues until today. In fact, it is still the most important seaport in southern Dalmatia. This region is the most famous tourist location in the Balkan Peninsula. History has shown the relationship between this region and the Ottoman Empire, even though the majority of the citizens here are Christian. It was given autonomous power by the Sultan of Turkey and was named the Republic of Dubrovnik. Located at the beachfront in southern Croatia, the terrain of Dubrovnik has made it one of the most beautiful tourist spots in Europe. History is also a factor which attracts visitors to Stari Grad, or Dubrovnik city, which was built six centuries ago. Still standing tall, despite the passage of time, Stari Grad has been proclaimed by UNESCO as a world heritage of mankind.
The Epidaurums, one of the Roman ethnic groups, were said to be the earliest settlers of Dubrovnik before they ran away to Greece. They were said to have defended Starigrad from the attacks of the Avar and Serbian tribes in 614 AD. From the 14th to the 15th century AD, trade developed rapidly here. Its seaport was frequented by trade ships from Europe and the Middle East. At the same time, the Ottomans started to emerge as a naval power in the Mediterranean Sea. The ruler of Dubrovnik established trade relations with the Turks and gave them some concessions as a recognition of the Islamic Empire's power and influence. This is the only mosque standing in Stari Grad, a center of Islamic activities for the Muslims living in the surrounding area. This mosque has survived for hundreds of years, an indicator of the existence of Muslims in this Christian majority region. It is also an indicator of the good relationship between the Dubrovnik community with the Muslims since the days of the Ottoman Empire. This Al-Qur'an, over 400 years old, is among the many Islamic artifacts in Stari Grad. Although the walls of the Stari Grad city is said to be very hard to penetrate, the words of Islam succeeded in slipping into the hearts of some of its citizens. Islam came to Starigrad not through the sword. It was the result of diplomacy and wisdom, which were displayed by the Muslim traders who reached its seaport. The Ottoman Empire did not meddle with the politics of Dubrovnik. As a token of appreciation, it was given recognition and trade concessions from the Dubrovnik rulers. Sulkan F. Herek is the Imam of the Starigrad Mosque, leader of the Muslim community. As an Islamic and education center, the mosque is administered by a committee formed in 1934. The truth is, only tolerance between ethnic groups and religions which has enabled Islam to continue to exist in this region. Mostar originated from the word Mostari, which means the guard of two bridge towers. The region of Mostar is dwelled by several ethnic groups, Illyrians, Romans, Goths, Slavs, Turks, and Austrians. All of them regard Mostar as their birthplace, which they will defend at all cost. When the Muslim Ottoman Empire gained a foothold in Bosnia in the 15th century, Mostar was given special attention. Since that time, Mostar became a city of arts and culture.
This Mehmet Pasha Mosque is among the monuments left behind by the Islamic power of old. It was built in the early 17th century AD, when Azam Larindan Sokulu Mehmet Pasha became the governor of the Ottoman Empire in Mostar. This mosque witnessed the hard experience of the Mostar Muslims during the communist era. This is the Turkish house, another heritage from the Ottoman period. This 300-year-old monument is also known as the Kajtaz house, named after the owner who was a Turk. It is one of the attractions for tourists who visit Mostar. This small museum represents the arts and culture of the Turkish community in Mostar. It is safeguarded by the Bosnia-Herzegovina Historical Society as a priceless local heritage. According to the Turkish traditions of old, each house was divided into Selamluk and Haramluk. Selamluk was an area only for men, while Haramluk was an area only for women. This house, preserved in its original form, glorifies the uniqueness of Turkish architecture. The Turkish culture has more or less influenced the Mostar community. Mostar also established its own Institute of Islamic Studies. The Kara Doz Bigovi School was built by Izkovic, the first Bosnian governor, in 1557 on the bank of the Neretva River during the reign of the Ottomans in the Balkan Peninsula. Every student in the school will be taught to recite Al-Qur'an in the correct manner. Even though they are not Arabs, their correct pronunciation and fluency in reading the holy book give evidence to the high commitment of the students here towards Islam. Thanks to this school, the spirit of Al-Qur'an continues to flourish in the hearts of the Mostar Muslim community. Established more than 360 years ago, this school has 120 students, consisting of both males and females. They can further their studies to tertiary institutions in Bosnia or in the Middle East after graduating from the school. Zar se čudiš srce što ga ljubim sa ljubavlju sinovskog žara? O ne ima na ovome svijetu ako nema sred bajnog raja, biste je vode iz svježega zraka što čovjeka sa zdravljem opaja. Koga gleda život mu se mladi? This student is adept in reciting poetry glorifying the founding of Mostar Bridge during the Ottoman period. Oči podraži ga. Svoćem, svodom i ostalim miljem Stari Mosque, or Mostar Bridge, which spans across the Neretva River, displays a touch of the Ottoman architecture from the era of Sultan Suleiman I. It proves that the Islamic Kingdom of old did not ignore the need to build infrastructures in the regions under their rule.
During the Bosnian War in 1993, this bridge, the pride of the Mostar community, was destroyed and thus the two banks were separated. Four years after the war ended, the bridge was rebuilt. The Turkish government donated 1 million euros to help with the construction. The Mostar Muslims were also involved in this rebuilding effort. Today, the bridge spans once more across the Neretva River on its original site, thus continuing the history and culture of the Bosnian people. After being threatened by inter-ethnic war, which had challenged the values of humanity. The owner of the souvenir shop, VL Ismet, is a pensioner of the Bosnian army. He started his business eight years ago. To him, Stari Most or Mostar Bridge is a monument of horror. It was on that bridge that his son was killed and thrown into the Neretva River by the Serbian army who succeeded in conquering Mostar. Through this engraving, he keeps the memory of his son alive. Vial Ismet, like many other Bosnians, has gone through enough suffering resulting from war. For the Bosnians, the war has left only ugly scars on their lives, which could never be healed. Faith and hope in Allah is the best medicine for their trauma. Imbued with the spirit of Islam, Muslim Bosnians are in the process of regaining their dignity, rebuilding the sovereignty of their religion and nation.